Howdy. We are making our way up the mountain and we're gonna do a little overnighter because it's a long ways into this spot. And I've always dreaded this hike because you have to have a full day to get all the way in there and all the way out. So tonight we're gonna camp out there, see if uh, sticking it out and uh, maybe uh, doing that I'll be able to cover more country and hopefully find a few more horns. Man, it took me about twice as long as it usually does to get up here, but got up here, saw a bunch of deer, a bunch of does and fawns, but <clears throat> I think I glassed up a forky horn and maybe both sides, so we're going to go down and check it out. That's sure enough a horn. Let's check it out. Look at that. Forky, both sides, next to each other. That's awesome. Browns, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good feeling, guys. That's uh, Those are my first brown deer sheds of the year. I found a brown elk shed, but those are my first brown deer. And it's a set. It's a forky, but I'm super pumped. Uh, I came in here way early, and I think uh, these ones might have been even buried in the snow. So, hell yeah. We'll do the pickup here. Cool little buck. Awesome. Let's get the other side. So there's the right. Here's the left. Goofy little deal on the like acorn up there, starting a brow tie. Beautiful. That'll work. Horn number three, right up there in the shade. We'll check. It's a pretty sight. Looks like a three point. Hard white. Yeah. Not bad. We'll take it. Do a quick pickup on here. It's in dirt a little bit, not broken nothing, but just your average little three. Almost chalky. It might be a couple like three years old. But that's sweet. Rodents chewed it a little bit on the back side there, but not bad, we got three horns on the board for the day. We just haven't got into any real zone yet. Um, I glassed this whole ridge, but I didn't see this one. Uh, we're gonna have to maybe do some gridding tomorrow. That might be tomorrow's plan, is just doing a lot of gridding. Cause some of these horns are in some thick stuff and can't see them, so stay tuned. We're gonna keep trying to find more. I'm just side hill on this ridge. And I looked up in the grass, white tine sticking out, baby. Elk shed. Look at that tine sticking up. Hell yeah. Yes. Check it out. A little raghorn, but awesome. Not bad. I will take an elk shed any day. Hard white. Last year, that's awesome. Wish there was more. Hard white on the ground. <clears throat> Pick up. You know, nothing. Not a big bull or nothing, but I'll take it today. It's, there we go. Ugh. Just make sure I'm in frame. But, you know, hard white. Maybe two years old. Year old. But sitting out on this open hillside, so it doesn't have much color on the back side so that's awesome finding a few olds we got those two browns so hopefully we can pick up a lot of more of this you know tonight and uh, tomorrow so we'll see what happens not too bad of a day made it back to camp uh, got four sheds on the day three deer one elk you can see over there 
but uh first brown deer sheds and uh unexpected elk shed so that was cool um yeah just gonna camp out here tonight gonna check out some more stuff and i, uh, I got a camera i gotta pick up but then uh yeah so there's still more adventure to come but just enjoying a peaceful night with the campfire and sleep in the tent tonight <laughs> Good morning. We got breakfast cooked and we are ready to hit the hills. Well, it sure is pretty morning, but uh, can I do some more glassing uh, and kind of pick a good route to, to make some lines through and kind of work our way slowly down the mountain today. Overnight trip in the books. Didn't do too great, but got a few to show. Broke the skunk. So, to the next spot. And uh, bear season coming soon. Gridding my way out. There's the old chalker. Let's see what we got. Little guy, it looks like. Well, it might be hard white. Two point. Sweet. Oh my gosh, look at that. Nice elk shed. Chewed up, but hell yeah. I was dreading coming down this ridge with all my, I have camp packed on here. But boy, I'm glad I did. I mean, found two point, an elk shed, whew, and it's a good one. Let's go check it. Hoping it was hard white, but it looks kind of chalky. Still sweet though. Nice bowl for around here. Six point, beautiful. Oh, the mass. Jeez. That's got some mass to them. Holy smokes. Jeez, this antler's heavy as hell. The mass is impressive. Jeez. Hey, it's old. I wish we could match them up still, though. Like, a mass long main beam. Kind of shorter points, and they got chewed quite a bit, but... Man. What a horn, really. That's the best elk horn I've found around here. Jeez. That is sweet. Still got a little color there to them. Man, I wish I would have found this when it was fresh. That is nice. We are packing this sucker home. What a cool horn. Look at that. Jeez. Hell yeah. This looked pretty sticky to me, but that's a horn. Small elk shed. Hell yeah. We're doing good. We're doing all right. That sucker looks pretty fresh, but it might be last year's. Little raghorn elk, but that's awesome. Hell yeah. Well, I don't think that's a match, but I did find the right side. We'll keep looking for it on the way out though. Well guys, thanks for watching the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, a little shed of hunting and camping. Um, just want to remind you, we got hats on the website for sale if you want to get a hat, support us a little bit. but. Uh, just uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, please. And if you're not already, go check us out on Instagram. And uh, thanks for watching.